I uh, just want to thank everyone for everything. You know, I'm so proud to be a North Dakotan, and I'm so proud to have served in the U.S. House. And, you know, I've had a lot of people come up to me and say, well, gee, this must be really tough, and the election and everything like that. And I, I am so proud to have been your representative, your candidate for this U.S. Senate race. Tracy and Jack, uh, we want to thank everyone here. We want to thank our supporters, and I, I mean, that's probably when I when I say I don't want I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me or us because we have been so blessed by the people we've met these last 18 months. It's truly overwhelming the people that have uh, have stepped up and done things for us. Uh, an 83-year-old lady sent me a check for $15 the other day, and uh, she had. Uh, her house was flooded, and she lived in a shelter for two months. And yet she felt so strong about what we're doing here, uh, she sent me that check. And so I just, I just want to thank everyone here for what you've done, and you can be so proud of what you've accomplished. And we want to thank you for that. <laughs> I remember I was thinking today that uh, when we ran for the house, uh, one of the reasons I did it is because I wanted to live a life with no regrets. And that was something I wanted to teach Jack. And looking back at these last 18 months, again, I have absolutely no regrets. Uh, we <laughs> we um, Someone said the other day that uh, the thing about our campaign and our team, I guess what I'd like to do is I'd like to have everyone who's uh, either volunteered full-time or worked full-time or worked part-time on our campaign, please stand up. We've got our, let me do this, let me do this. I'd like our D.C. office people to stand up first. Please stand up. You guys keep standing. I'd like our campaign staff to stand up as well. Thank you. Keep, keep standing. I'd like all our state office to stand up. Please stand up. taking vacation, and to take vacation, they came here. And so I'd like you guys to stand up as well. And, and Mike and Charles, <laughs> please stand up. And uh, when we talked about this campaign as this group, uh, the one thing stood out is this campaign was from the heart. This campaign was from deep down inside, and, and I just want to thank everyone. How you just great. Thank you so much. All right, so it was a long night last night. Didn't get much sleep, and uh, we went into the night and certainly expected a, a different result. Um, Secretary of State, we've been uh, obviously monitoring that last night and this morning, and um, you know, Heidi Knight camp has a significant lead, and I uh, about 28, 28 votes, seven votes for precinct, to your precinct workers, and I mean, it's kind of interesting because in a lot of states, you might have an election of 2,800 votes, and you say, oh, gee, there's so much that can change. But it's kind of ironic because I thought in North Dakota, our auditors, our people that are working the polls across the state do an outstanding, if not a perfect job, of recording all these votes. I kind of thought about it. It's like the North Dakota way. But what that means to me is there's, there's not much that's going to change in that outcome. Now, there's... Uh, Here's how the process works. I want to be clear on that, too. What happens is, of course, we have the election, and now Friday and early next week, what they'll do is they'll have a canvassing board that'll meet. And these canvassing boards will meet across the state uh, just to make sure that there's consistency in the numbers. And then after that, they'll certify the election. And so 
Um, you know, there's a number of absentee ballots out, and there's a few issues that are out there that need to be resolved. But basically, um, with, with that acknowledgement of the current circumstances, uh, I just want to be clear, I want to concede this election to Heidi Heitkamp. And, and thank her for her effort and her passion. Uh, even though I may not agree with, with her philosophy, but I think her passion is what makes our country great. And that's what makes our legislature great, is people have different perspectives, they come together, and they work out those differences. You know, I was just thinking, I've been 28 years in the legislative process, and we have, again, people from all different walks of life, they come together, they wrestle with the big problems, and they make a decision. The other thing I was thinking is the problems are not solved at the ballot box. You know, we talk a lot about elections. Well, all of the issues that we've talked about this whole campaign uh, didn't get solved yesterday. Uh, this is a process that's going to take a lot of work from those political leaders that we elected last night, uh, both on the national level as well as the state level. And so I guess I just want to express my hope that as North Dakotans, we know there's tough decisions that need to be made. And I want to encourage everyone here to be supportive of our elected leaders when they wrestle with those tough decisions. Because that's, to me, what this race is all about. This race is about securing that promise of the American dream to our kids and to that next generation. So let's give them our support uh, as they wrestle with these big problems. Finally, I just truly, truly want to thank you for everything you've done. Uh, it's been uh, um, an, an interesting experience, but it's been something that I wouldn't trade for anything. And um, yeah, to have the opportunity to be in a position to do what we did, in a position to impact America. I mean, there's no question that if during this campaign, the issues that are important to America, the candidates came together on, on what they think those solutions are. And so I, uh, I'm excited about that, and I just, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everyone, uh, and uh, just God bless North Dakota, and God bless America. Amen.